So I may have found the next best free alternative to MidJourney, and this is called Flux One, a brand new open source AI text to image model. So guys, in this video, I'm gonna explain what Flux One is, who's behind it, and then I'm also gonna show you how to access this so you can start generating AI images for free. So if you're new to the channel, my name is Ryan with AI Insider Tips, and my mission here is to help you navigate the overwhelming world of artificial intelligence. So if you haven't already subscribed, hit that subscribe button. And now guys, let's get back to exploring this new free alternative to MidJourney. So again, this model is called Flux One, and this is owned and developed by a company called Black Forest Labs. You can find this at blackforestlabs.ai. I'll be sure to leave a link to this and everything else that I mentioned in the video description below. And if you scroll down on the homepage, you can start to look at some of the examples of images that were generated by this Flux One model. So this one looks realistic, that one looks realistic. I mean, I really, that one right there looks realistic too. Like the realism on this, just looking at it for the first or second time, uh, very impressive, honestly. And if you click on one of these, they also have the prompt down here. So if you really wanted to, you could click on this one, for example, copy and paste the prompt or this one, copy and paste this prompt, plug it into Dolly, plug it into Midjourney, Adobe Firefly, and you could compare and contrast what you get using the exact same prompt. So I think that's kind of cool. Um, but anyways, they don't have a lot of information on their homepage. They talk about uh, the different variants of the Flux One model down here, how you can access it. Um, but they also have a blog post that they published on August 1st that kind of explains who Black Forest Labs is. And I'm not going to get into all the details here, but the important part that I want to share with you is who is behind the Black Forest Labs, who is generating this Flux One model and why should we care and why should we give it credibility? Well, they say we are a team of distinguished AI researchers and engineers with an outstanding track record in developing foundational generative AI models. So then they go on to talk about how the stable diffusion models for image and video generation, how some of the people at this Black Forest Labs were involved in developing the stable diffusion models. And stable diffusion is a pretty big name in the world of generative AI when it comes to images and video. So that right there got me to pause and think, wow, I need to give this tool a test now, considering the people behind it had some sort of, uh, you know, stint at stable diffusion. So again, they go on to talk about their funding, the model family. There's all sorts of graphs here I don't really understand. Um, so you guys can give this a look on your own time. Again, you can find this in the video description below. So in terms of accessing this Flux One model, there's a couple ways you can do this, but I found the easiest way is to just go to a website called huggingface.co uh, and then it's forward slash Black Forest Labs. I'll leave a link to this in the description so you guys can quickly access it. Um, and they have two different spaces here. So they have a Flux One Schnell and then a Flux One Dev. Uh, you'll see this one already has over a thousand likes. This one has 745. I would recommend just using this Flux One Schnell one and then click that. And then that'll bring you to this interface that looks like this. Very basic right now. Obviously, it's in Hugging Face, so they might be working on a website, an application. I'm not really sure what's going on behind the scenes. But here's where you could enter your text prompt. So they have some examples down here. So, I mean, if we just want to do one of these that says, uh, a tiny astronaut hatching from an egg on the moon. That was very quick. Wow, I was very impressed by that. Uh, so that's what it generates right here. Now, if I want to do another simple prompt, right? Um, dogs playing in the snow, it takes a little longer to generate because these are the pre-configured ones it looks like. Uh, that took about three to four seconds and that's what the image got. Uh, so not bad, again. And then we can also come back here to the main page uh, and copy and paste one of these prompts. I'm not gonna do that one, it was in a different language. Uh, but let's copy and paste this long prompt and then come back to Hugging Face, the Chanel model, delete that paste it, click run. Um, and depending how long or sophisticated your prompt is, I'm assuming it'll take longer to generate. Um, but again, that took maybe five seconds, right? So uh, not bad. I mean, you can download it right here. Obviously, the dimensions aren't there in terms of what they show on their website. Uh, I think you only get this fixed square dimension on Hugging Face, at least it seems. They do have some advanced settings here. So if you scroll down, you can uh, adjust the width, the height. So I was just talking about the dimensions, but you can actually change this, it looks like. Uh, so if I wanna do, you know, let's just do like 1600 width uh, and let's do 800 height. I'm curious what this would do if we just ran it again. So 
Um, what I'm impressed with right away is just how quick and easy this is to use and honestly, how fast it generates images. Yeah, there's there's the change in dimensions right there. So now I wanna quickly test this Flux One model against some of the other free AI image genera generators out there, excuse me. So we have the Copilot Designer uh, right here. We have Meta AI has an AI image generator. We have Leonardo AI. Uh, so I just want to quickly test this just to compare the outputs very quickly to see what we're working with in the early stages of this Flux One model. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to come back to the Black Forest Labs AI website, and I'm going to pick one of these images here and copy and paste the prompt. So um, which one should we do in this example, guys? Let's do, let's do this one. Actually, let's do this one. This one's pretty cool. Um, so let's copy and paste this at the bottom underwater scene of two owls sitting at a fancy dining table with a lit candle in the center. I'm going to copy this, come back here, paste the prompt, click, click run. Uh, and then I'm also going to enter this in the same way on the copilot designer. I'm going to go to imagine with meta AI, come down here, click enter. Leonardo AI, if I go to image creation, I didn't have this one ready to go. All right, so here's what the Flux One model inside of Hugging Face generated from that long prompt of two owls sitting at a dining table. So not terrible in my opinion, but right away what I noticed is the quality of this image is not as good as what you see on the Black Forest Labs website. So I'm assuming we get some like worse form of the model on Hugging Face or some of these other third party websites compared to what they're doing behind the scenes. That would be my guess. This just looks a lot more crisp than what we're getting inside uh, of Hugging Face. And if I come over to the Copilot Designer, um, relatively on par with what we got inside Hugging Face with Flux One. Um, a lot of these free AI image generations almost look the same. Here's what Meta provided. So Meta AI has their own free AI image generator. Um, what I don't like is they have the watermark on the bottom left. That's been kind of my beef with them when it comes to AI image generation. Um, but not terrible. And then Leonardo AI, I also threw it in here. Um, so this isn't terrible either. You know, not bad, not bad. Uh, but again, it's all relatively the same. So long story short, when I look at this image, I'm like, wow, that is really, really impressive. And if I pull back and start looking at some of these other ones they post on their website, I mean, look how realistic some of these look with this couple on the beach, this guy's headshot, these girls, uh, you know, this cartoonish one, this house or this barn, this piano. And then you look at what you get inside Hugging Face. It's like, well, there's a big difference there. So again, we're not getting access to that full Flux One model yet. Clearly, this is on Hugging Face. So I guess we just have to sit back and wait and see until it's available on their website for AI image generation or they have some sort of app. I don't know what the deal is or I don't know anyone behind the scenes, guys. So I'm just going to sit here and wait until we get that full version of Flux One. But it is in the early stages of development. So that's it guys, just wanted to make a quick video covering this new Flux One AI text to image model. And again, I was kind of disappointed by what I got inside Hugging Face with what we have access to right now. But looking at some of these images on the Black Forest Labs website, there's a lot of potential with this tool. And the fact that it's free to use, I don't know if they're gonna upcharge eventually or become a freemium model. Um, but looking at some of these images, I mean, a lot of potential here this tool has. So I thought it was important I bring it to your attention. So guys, again, this is Ryan with AI Insider Tips. Be sure to leave me a comment. What do you think about this new Flux One model? Have you guys tested this yourself? Really wanna know your initial thoughts. Again, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do so. Like this video, dislike it if you didn't find value. I always wanna hear your feedback and I hope you all have a great day.